When I grew up cooking, my family cooked, um, and I love to eat. So, you know, usually if you love to eat, you'll figure out how to cook. So. <laughs> Brian Mabry certainly did follow his taste buds all the way to the opening of Filet Steakhouse and Oyster Bar in Winsboro. We have fresh oysters, Louisiana oysters. We get them twice a week. Filet is famous for its char-grilled oysters, freshly shucked, flame-licked, and basted with butter, cheese, and a few secrets. A wood-burning uh, grill back there, so it adds a little smoke flavor to it. Um, like I said, it's, I think they're the best you're going to get anywhere. We're going to blacken this. Mabry is no trained chef, but he believes when you start with great local seafood, like Franklin Parish's own herring catfish, you can't go wrong. It's what he uses for his catfish Acadiana. Fresh seafood, and um, that's really where our hearts were at. And we wanted to bring this to our hometown because we had nothing like this here. I tell you, when I walked back in the kitchen, they were just finishing up this crawfish cream sauce and I'm like I don't know what I'm having today but I know I'm having that on something even if it's shoe leather. <laughs> Fortunately their catfish Acadiana comes with the crawfish cream sauce. I'm not lying. I'm telling you that on a boot heel would be delicious. And Brian also likes to think out of the box with the menu. He may have tuna ceviche or other non-traditional Cajun cuisine as a special. We, I like to throw something out there and, and when people walk in and say, what is that? I'm like, you got to try it. I'm going to bring it to you. You know, so if it works, it works. If it don't, we throw it out the door. We don't try it again. <laughs> and one thing you won't find at Filet is a hamburger. That's because his wife's family owns Big John's Burgers next door. But if you want something a little more fancy, any entree at Filet could feed your soul. It feeds my soul. I hope it feeds other people as well. <laughs> In Winsboro, I'm Tammy Arinder for KNOE 8 News.